Can you hear me now? They turn to me and whisper, Sam, you're not exactly fucked up. And I can't help but wonder at the subconscious connotations of that innocuous statement, and then I remember my expectations. I'm supposed to be perfect. Someone who can't make mistakes. Someone who can't show any emotions other than the ones that people want to see, and I don't know if they mean it that way. But there are days when there's a panic in my chest that won't stop. There's a scream pulsing under my tongue because I am a little fucked up and there are some things I can't say unless I'm screaming them or hiding behind poetic metaphor, truly terrified that the desperation pooling in my stomach won't stop. There are nights I lay awake and pull life into my body bag, lungs when the shame in my veins is thick as sludge. If I had said no, Would you have stopped? You said you loved me. So I didn't squeak a single protest when you broke me. Did you ever love me? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, you got this. You got this. You got it. Do you know how hard it is for me to speak when my voice box creaks? I guess I shouldn't be so sensitive. I overthink things and who wants to hear this? Me, a broken record hidden in a dusty attic. Do you know how hard it is for me to speak when my voice box creaks like the memories I would rather forget? Like the nights my body was a crime scene outlined in the powder of my own bones? You tore me from a children's book before I could read. You unwrap me before Christmas. You Nagasaki me before Hiroshima could blink. You destroyed everything. And now there are days when it feels like my ribcage can't hold me tight enough, can't fight down the scream in my throat. Am I loud enough yet? Am I loud enough yet? Am I loud enough yet? Can you hear me now? <laughs>